Okay, we're going to do a little science here. We're going to drop this candle down in and see what happens. Here we go. The water rose up. What happened? Well, here's what happened. By taking that candle and putting it down in the water and then putting the container over the top of it, we heated the molecules inside the little small beaker. And then when we heated that and we put that down on there and then the candle went out, then those molecules started to cool down. And as they cooled down, they started to get closer together. Okay, so as they got closer together, the air pressure on the outside wanted to come in there and fill that area. So then it was pushed down, which then when it pushed that water down, that water rose up inside the container inside. So that's what's going on inside there. Now we did try this with multiple things. We had containers that we used that were bigger that we were trying to use, but the problem was there was too much water we wanted to make it where there was a little bit of water and then it would go up. We tried it with um, trying to cut candles off and all kinds of things. This might work really well with birthday candle if you have a taller container. We did like doing it with this because these are beakers that you would have in your classroom that you could use just readily. And so all we did was we found one beaker that would fit over the little candle and these candles are dirt cheap. You can get these at Dollar General or wherever and you know they're just little simple candles. You can buy them for pennies.